<laughs> that movie Mavericks, that was the surf movie? Yeah, yeah. Did you almost drown on that movie or something, I, I read? I did, yeah. You actually had to surf for the movie. I had to surf, and and it was my dream to actually go and surf that wave, even though the movie is all about, you know, just that people have no idea how dangerous and how much training and, and what yeah. and what 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 metal it takes to go had to go you ever surfed before that I, I just learned i wasn't even that good but i knew what i learned to I actually learn to surf big waves before small ones because i knew if i can be towed in i learned to tow in because it's hard to get up on a board yeah. you're lying on the board they right. pull you and then you got to stand up <laughs> uh, you got to get on the board while you're going and then they've got to do it in perfect time so that you catch the wave as it you know as, as it builds. so in other words they give you an assist because they, this is a high difficulty difficulty uh, yeah thing. They're, yeah. they're hard to, to paddle into and I thought if they can just get a few seconds of me on that big wave I said if I could just go out there and surf Mavericks so I pushed them because they're like listen if you get caught in Mavericks there's nothing we can do we can't go in because the waves are too big we got to wait for them to pass that might be 12 waves that's three or four minutes you're done so if you didn't know how to surf at all, could they have just faked it and used a body double and then been done with it? Or did you, in order to get the part, you needed to know how to surf? No, no. I mean, they they offered it to me and said, they said, that, well, the movie's not going to happen if you don't do it. So it, they said, so you do whatever you want. If you can surf a bit, if you can surf a lot, if you can't even surf, we'll, we'll work something out. Wow. So, but... You know, the thing is, it's just the difference. It's the subtle difference. You want to see it. The, well, you want to do it, and if you see the guy doing it, it's the same in a fight sequence. If you know it's him, if you, you have to do you know quick cuts if it's a body double, and it's just not the same. So I wanted to do it, but it was that's not when the accident happened. It was the next week, and we were doing a part where we're paddling out, and it's the first time that the kid who's, you know, Jay, um, played by Johnny, he's, watch, he's watching me paddling out and it's the first time he's seen Mavericks and it's awesome so we're paddling out and these huge waves are coming in you're trying to get over the top we were in the worst position and the, this wave start we saw it half a mile away and suddenly even as I'm talking about it you, you, you get those butterflies in your stomach because the guy goes paddle Jerry paddle paddle and you start paddling and you're paddling and and you're you're paddling about 70 yards to try and get out of the way of this wave and it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger it's the size of like a three-story building oh, right and, shit, and, and then and then you realize you've taken a gamble because now you're exhausted and the wave's going to hit you and you're going down and i went right. down and i just didn't seem to come back up and i'm like why am i because when it die the, well because because it's at the end of the wave because we were so deep there's so much gas in the water that literally the, it, it's the white water is about five foot deep. You can't, you're not coming it up. It pushes you down. Put, well, you just don't rise above it. Plus, I'm spinning, spinning, spinning. And then I realize it's ripped my board off me. So I'm not, I'm not being pulled up. And I'm out of breath. I'm literally, <coughs> up. I'm going, this is horrible. And then the next wave comes. So I didn't even get up to the top. So then I knew. Did you think I, you were going to die? I, then I started thinking either I was going to die or that they would hopefully find me and, and, and revive me. Well, after wow. I came out of the water, um, he filmed me, he, even even though I'd almost drowned. And I'm like, <laughs> <How's that? laughs> my head was, ex I thought my head was going to Did they use up. that in the, in the film? No, they didn't use it in the film because it wasn't really. So I'm supposed what a to waste. Be a, I'm supposed to be a good surfer in the film. Wow. So uh, Grant was on a jet ski. And to see him, this guy's six foot five, he's invincible. To see him looking at me, he was terrified. Mm -hmm. And I knew I'm in trouble. And he couldn't get to me. I went down again. Wow. I came wow. back up. Then there was nobody there. I went down again. And then when I came back up, they grabbed me. But when he was pulling me, the next wave was coming. And I'm now right at the rocks. And when these waves hit these rocks, they go 50 feet in the air. They smash it. So they had to get me out of the way. But the water's now going over my face because he's holding my hand, pulling me, and I knew if I let go, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. But I can't breathe still because the water's going over my head. So, ah, and that was about a good 200 yards pulling me around the site. Imagine yeah. dying for that movie, you know? Like, that, it's so crazy. Like, you die for a movie. That's what I started thinking is it went from, okay, this has become a story, you know, amongst us. Then right. I'm thinking, oh, my God. This is now becoming a disaster. Like they're going to, right. you know. And there are dudes that die on movies. Yeah. You know, after these action films, they're asking you to do more and more crazy stuff. Yeah. You don't know what the hell's going to happen. You don't know.